Hi guys, okay, so for today's video, I decided to um, film my makeup collection and it's, um, I just decided to do this because I like watching these on YouTube and um, I figured I would show you guys what I have. Um, now keep in mind, number, number one, uh, my collection is not huge. Um, I think I have a, a good amount and I do use everything that I have. Um, it's so, it's obviously not to brag and you'll see when you guys see the collection, I'm really not bragging because I don't have that much. Um, but I did want to show you sort of my favorite things. Um, uh, number two, uh, the makeup that I have, not all of it is cruelty free. Um, in a perfect world, I'd really, really like to only buy cruelty free uh, products and they are getting easier to find. I am finding, um, you know, quite a few drugstore products that I'm finding here in Canada. I don't know how it is in the States. It, you know, at first it seemed like it's a little easier in the States to find cruelty free um, uh, makeup products, but I am finding it easier to find stuff here. And since we now have a target, here in Montreal where I live, um, that's making it really easier too. But I also do feel bad throwing out the makeup that I do have that's not cruelty free because I am on a budget. Um, I'm a single mom, I don't have tons of money and so I feel bad throwing out products and I do have certain products that I really like, like drugstore products that are not cruelty free. So again, just for anyone watching this that is saying, oh, but she's vegan and you know, talking about cruelty free stuff, not all um, my makeup products are cruelty free, but a majority of them are. And I'll definitely point out the ones that are, because those are the ones that I use most of the time, um, like majority of the time, um, and then intersperse with the other stuff that I have. Okay, so this is just a quick intro to uh to the video like i said i'm going to show you um this is a setup that i have in my bedroom it's on my armoire um so all my makeup is laid out on my armoire and everything is there so i'll show you guys that um yeah so i hope you enjoy this video and uh, if you have any comments feel free to comment below uh, of course, uh, subscribe to my channel if you like watching my videos and I'll for sure be putting up uh, more videos uh, from now on. Um, I started, you know, putting up videos and then stopped for a while. I had a few things going on in my life and a few things going on with my son. And so things got really busy, but now things are settling down a little bit. And so I'll have more time. To film video so i'm hoping to put up two videos a week and sort of start off there and then go from there so yeah stay tuned if you like my channel like i said subscribe and um like this video if you like it all right okay guys so here's my makeup storage and just to give you an overview of what it looks like it's on my dresser in my bedroom so just to get a nice view um I just did this setup a little while ago before I had uh, all my makeup in different makeup bags and I found it really hard to find things and just um, I started watching videos on YouTube of how people stored their makeup and I really like the idea of getting these containers. So I'm really happy with this. I find it's a great idea and makes doing your makeup so much easier because everything is organized. Okay, so I'm going to get right into it because I don't want this video to be too, too long. So I'm going to start off on this end and then work my way to this end. Um, most of it is in the middle, as you can see. So I'm going to start off with uh, this. This is my makeup mirror. And I love this thing. Um, before, I used to do my makeup in the bathroom. And I just found it really difficult to really see properly. The lighting is never great in the bathroom. You don't have natural light. In my room, I have a big window. So it's just, um, it just makes it so much easier. And this mirror is really, really great. And I thought it was really pretty. Um, I found it at Winners. And it was really cheap too. It was like between $12 and $14. Uh, so in 
this corner, I just have some Kleenex and I have this uh, makeup bag, which I'll show you. This is my uh, Sonia Kashuk makeup bag and I just love, this is one of my favorite makeup bags and I just love Sonia Kashuk and I find this one so, so pretty. So uh, I figured this would be the perfect one to display and keep on my dresser. So inside this makeup bag, I just have a few palettes. And when I mean a few, I really mean a few. Literally one, two, and there's one back here, three. So I, uh, like I said before, I don't have too much makeup. So uh, I'll just dive right in and show you my palettes. Uh, this is my Kat Von D palette. And this one's pretty old. Let me just look. It is called True Love Palette. Um, yeah, I got this a year ago or something like that, so I don't even know if they still have it. Uh, and I'm not quite sure if Kat Von D is cruelty-free. If anybody knows, uh, please leave a comment below and let me know. I thought I saw on somebody's YouTube video that it was, but then I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I love this palette. I think it has really, really pretty colors. Uh, I'm not going to be going into detail and showing all the colors and things like that, uh, just because I don't want this video to be too, too long. Um, okay, and this is my Tarte palette. This one is definitely uh, cruelty-free. I love Tarte. And this one is the Amazoli Amazonian Colored Clay Matte Collector's Palette. And this just has a blush and some eyeshadows. Really, really pretty neutral palette that I use pretty much every day. And this is an older palette that I keep because, like you saw, I really don't have that many palettes. It's a Sephora palette. See, that shows the shadows in the back and a moon shadow baked palette in the night uh, this i got quite a while ago um it has some really pretty shimmery colors for nighttime or i i use a lot at christmas time i actually got this as a christmas gift uh, i think two years back so it has a lot of holiday colors okay so the next thing i'm going to show you just going to move my mirror is up here so this is my first container that's what it looks like. And uh, sorry for the reflection. It's just my mirror is right in the back. So there's no way of avoiding that. Okay, so what I have up here are my brushes. And sorry that they're not clean. I haven't cleaned them in about a week. So they don't look perfect. But anyway. Um, so I have two uh, containers with my brushes. And most of my brushes... Uh, well, not, mo well, actually, yeah, most of them are equal tools, like these ones with the bamboo, Let's see, equal tools. Um, then I have some Sonia Kashuk ones, and I have two e.l.f. ones, so all my makeup brushes are cruelty-free. Um, and I find they're all really, really good. So this is one container that I have, and just sort of has the smaller brushes, um, some eyeshadow pencils, this is a liner pencil, um... This is my e.l.f. one, which I really, really like. I find these are really good brushes, and they're really cheap. It's $4. Uh, this collection with this handle is Sonia Kashuk, and I think those are really, really pretty. And like I said, the ones with the bamboo are equal tools. majority of my brushes are equal tools. And I'll just quickly show you the one in the back. This one just has my bigger br brushes. Uh, this is my Sonia Kashuk brush. I love this brush for blending. Um, this one is an e.l.f. brush. It's an angled brush. And I use that for usually blending, blending my bronzer and if I'm, um, yeah, usually for, for bronzer. Um, and the rest are just big like foundation brushes, uh, bronzer blushes, blush brushes. These are all for my bigger ones. So that's a big bin. And this bin, uh, like I said, the other bin, that's a Sweeney Kashuk bin. Uh, this bin is just from the dollar store. And another, I can't put that back. All right. Um, <laughs> another thing from the dollar store is just these little bins. And it came in a pack of, I think, I believe four or something like that. And again, sorry that my sponges are really dirty. I need to clean them. Uh, so I have some Q-tips. I have a makeup sponge. And I have my beauty blender which I believe I got this at Target. I can't quite remember that it's a Target one. So it's a cheaper one, but I really like it. I find it works really, really well. Um, so I use that. 
Okay, so now onto the drawers. So as you can see, these containers have three drawers each. So I have three containers in all. So I have one here, one here with three, and one here at the bottom. So we'll just gonna dive right into it. Um, so this top drawer is all my, do there, uh, all my foundations and my concealers. Um, okay, so we'll start off with, this is sort of my every every day, um, everyday foundation. It's Clean Finish Ramel. Uh, Ramel isn't cruelty free, but I find it's a good drugstore brand. I like the way it works and it's cheap. So, uh, so these are my Sonia Kashuk foundations. Uh, this one is a luminous foundation in cream, and this one's really, really pretty. I tend to use the Sonia Kashuk ones when I know I'm going to be out all day because it does last all day, or if I'm going out at night or a special event because it is a little pricier, so I, I like to keep it. Um, this is a, a Sonia Kashuk foundation stick. Then I have a Sonia Kashuk. This is an illuminating stick. And I love this. This is super, super pretty. Let's see if I can open it. Super pretty. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of pinkish. There's a bit of a tint, a bit of a shimmer to it. Really, really pretty for highlighting. Um, so, and okay, so those are my foundations. Uh, then over here, I have concealers. And this is my everyday kind of quick go to concealer by Ramel. And then over here is my Sonia Kasha concealer, which I love. This will literally last all day. You can put that on, set it with powder, and you are good for the day. And then these two are recent finds, which I'll talk about in another video. But these are from Hard Candy. They're called Glamouflage Light, and they're concealer duels. So Those are like concealer sticks. And I got one in light, one that's a little bit darker. Um, yeah, Hard Candy is a new brand that I just discovered that I really, really like, and it's cruelty free. So super happy about that. Okay, so now on to the second drawer. The second drawer has all my powders. So uh, I have my Milani Illuminating Face Powder, and I like this just to add a little bit of uh, a little bit of shimmer, usually around the eye area or like cheekbone area. I find this really, really pretty. And just look how gorgeous that is. It's beautiful. Um, then the rest are Sonia Kashuk and Elf. So this is a Sonia Kashuk uh, powder. Yeah, colorless matte loose powder. Uh, I also have like a shimmering powder, which I don't use as often. Um, if I had to rate the Sonia Kashuk products, I love them. But this one I tend to use less than my other ones and my other Sonia Kashuk one which I like better this is a powder but it's an illuminating powder and you I don't know if you can really tell I can't really tell but anyway it's white so it, it adds a nice little like shimmer to your face and then the other ones that I have are two elf products this is a translucent powder by elf sorry that it's dirty um this is great this is like my go-to powder for every day and my favorite, favorite, favorite e.l.f. product that I figured, okay, it's e.l.f. I'm going to, you know, use it day to day. Uh, it's cheap. It's probably not going to work that well. I end up using this when I'm going out for a function. Every, I mean, I literally use this every single day. And when I run out, I'm going to have to go to Target right away and buy a new one because I just love it. So this is the high definition powder. And it looks a little translucent when you look, uh, not translucent, sorry, um, kind of sparkly when you, when you look at it, but it goes on super, super light on the face and just feels really, really good. So this is my favorite e.l.f. product. If I had to choose one, for sure, this one. Okay, and now the final drawer. Whoop, we'll just move that aside. Uh, the final drawer are my blushes and bronzers. So over here at the front, I have a Milani bronzer big bronzer which i love um this is an elf bronzer uh then over here i have elf blush this is oh i don't know the color of it hold on oh in twinkle pink really really pretty that's like my everyday blush 
that I use all the time. And I have an e.l.f. Uh, contouring blush and bronzer in one. And back here, ooh, it doesn't fit anymore. Um, back here, I have this I use for a special occasion when I'm going out at night, um, just because it is more expensive. This is the Naked uh, Fleshed palette, and I love, I, I love this. I think it's super, super pretty. Uh, but again, I only use it when, you know, there it is, um, when I'm going out because it is expensive and I don't want to waste it. <laughs> I am budget conscious. All right. So that's just the base for my face. Now I'm going to go on to the other ones. And so, like I said, I have one on top over here and one on the bottom. And on top, just really quickly, I have um, just some perfume. I have an e.l.f. Um, makeup setting spray, makeup mist and set. I really like this. It feels really light on your skin, especially in the summertime. And I have an e.l.f. primer. This is the mineral face primer. And up here at the top, I just have my EOS lip balms. I have some more, but they're in my purse. Okay, so starting here at the top, uh, these are eye products. So I have uh, at the back over here, I have two... Uh, Wet n Wild palettes, which Wet n Wild, if you haven't looked into, cruelty free and really, really nice stuff. I mean, look at that palette that has purples. And then the other palette has brighter colors for summer, which is super, super fun. Um, then I have one NYX. I only have one, but I use this constantly because it's a nice, um, nice nude shadow. So that's my NYX, oops, my NYX shadow. Uh, then back here, I have my Maybelline Color Tattoos. I love these. I know they're not cruelty-free, but I just, I love them. Uh, and here I have a bunch of my NYX uh, Jumbo Eye Pencils. I have quite a few of them. Okay, so next door. Uh, these are just different eyeshadows that I have. I, I won't take them out because you can see. I have a whole bunch of MAC eyeshadows. Actually, this whole drawer is all MAC. These are MAC, and these are the MAC Shimmer Pots, which I don't use too often, usually for holidays or things like that. Um, yeah, so that's my MAC. Then on the next drawer, I have more eye products. So I have my... <laughs> sorry. Um, I have my mascaras here. I have two... Oh, no, sorry. One Ramel mascara. This one's all right. My favorite line, though, when it comes to mascara, as I have to say, is Maybelline. So I have this one, the Pumped Up Colossal, which is my favorite. And the Colossal Volume. Um, I also have an e.l.f. Uh, mascara, which I find is good for during the day. It doesn't last, though, into the night, I find. Um, then over here in the middle, I have... Oh, there's a shine, but it's an e.l.f. Eye Refresher. It's an, it's an eye roller and it sort of depuffs your eyes so i like using that in the morning when i wake up and then on this side i just have some eyeliners that have an elf one this is a maybelline smoky eye one this is nyc nyc and yeah and nyc in blue then over here i have my eyebrow stuff i have this one that i haven't used in a long time this is what i used to use i believe it's maybelline um now i use my milani one and i like I, I love this one. I find it works really, really well. It's a brow and eye highlighter. Uh, back there, you can see I just have the uh, sharpener. And over here, can't really see it. Can't really take it out, but that's a, um, a MAC uh, eyeliner in uh, brown. Okay, last container. We'll just move this out of the way. Okay, last container. So this is my sort of primer and BB cream type stuff. Um, again, this is a hard candy stuff. Um, this is the Sheer Envy Skin Illuminating Primer. This feels so good on your skin. And again, hard candy is cruelty free. I definitely have to get more of their stuff and try more of their stuff because I'm definitely in love with them. And I love the packaging too. It kind of reminds me of Kat Von D. Looks like a tattoo. It's really, really cute. Um, okay, then I have my BB and CC cream. So this is my Ramel BB cream, which as you can see is almost finished. Um, then I have this one that I bought for the summertime. This is Neutrogena. It's a CC cream and it has SPF. So 
so perfect. I don't have to put that on my face. And I have an e.l.f. tinted moisturizer, which I really like too. And then back here, I just have, uh, this one is Ramel, I believe. Yes, uh, this is an eyeshadow primer. And then back here is an e.l.f. lip primer. And like one side is a lip primer and one side is a lip plumper, which I've tried. Does it really plump the lips? I don't know, but I like the way it feels on the lips. Okay, last two. Uh, last two are lip products. So I sorted them by um, by name brand, and this whole drawer is the cruelty free section. So I have my NYX lip glosses over here. Then I have some more lip creams from NYX as well. I love NYX. Um, then the NYX lip butters I have as well. Uh, I have an e.l.f. Um, lipstick over here. I have a Sonia Kashuk one all the way in the back. You can sort of see. There it is. Um, and these are my absolute favorites. I'm going to do a video just on these because I love these. These are my wet and wild lipsticks. Love, love, love. Okay, and final drawer are other lip products which are not cruelty free. Um, so these, these are Revlon, I think. They're the nudes, but oh no, Maybelline, maybe. Hold on. Uh, bear all, yes. These are the nudes from Maybelline. I have two. I really, really like these. Um, these uh, NYC ones, there's these these lip products from NYC with the black casing, and then there's these ones that are new. I find these last longer. I can put this on, and no joke, the whole day, even if I go out and have supper and drink a coffee, the lipstick will still be on. So these, I highly recommend these. These are really, really good. They're NYC Expert Last and really, really pretty, vivid colors, um, and really cheap too. Then I have two Revlon ones, which I use in the wintertime, not that often in the summer. Uh, I have a naked lip gloss. I have to get one. And I have some Kat Von D lip glosses. And all the way in the back, I have a MAC one. Okay, and then final thing that I have on this side, this side um, has my, eye, uh, my sunglasses. And this case I thought was really, really cute. This is from Aldo Accessories, a little palette on it. And I have some Betsy Johnson sunglasses in there. Uh, this is just a decorative vase. And last makeup thing are all my baby lips are in here. So these are all the new crystal baby lips. I got all of them. I have a Dr. Rescue, which I use when my lips are chapped or like I'll be using in the winter time. Uh, and then on this end, I just have a book where I keep notes and things like that, uh, write, write down recipes, and I have a few fashion magazines, Lulu, that's, I'm not sure if it's strictly in Quebec. I know it's a Canadian magazine, but it might just be here in Quebec. I have an in style and a style watch. I love that magazine. Um, yeah, so that's my whole collection, as you can see. Not too much, but I like the organization of it. And I hope you guys liked watching this video. And uh, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. And if there's any comments, um, like I said, the products that I'm not 100% sure if they are cruelty free, the Kat Von D, the Milani, I've heard yes, I've heard no. Um, so I'm not quite sure. So if you could comment below, that'd be really great. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys next video. Bye.